Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Screen Sanctum. I'm Steve, and today I'm going to react to Season 1, Episode 5 of Community, titled Advanced Criminal Law. Last week on Episode 4, we had Shirley and Jeff bonding by teasing Britta's boyfriend and gossiping. That was interesting and pretty funny. We also had Annie recruiting Abbott and Troy to a social experiment, which was basically torture where they tortured everyone who had to wait because the whole experiment was just let them sit there forever. And it was foiled by Abed because he's so patient, he just waited there anyway. But this week's episode, Advanced Criminal Law, says Chang threatens to fail the entire class if the cheater does not come forward. And Jeff comes to the defense of the person who confesses. And then there should be a new school song so let me put on my headset. Hopefully I have it set for my Mac. And so let's get into episode five, Advanced Criminal Law, um, right now. Good morning, Greendale Community College. This is your dean. Good morning, Greendale. And among your school's prestigious alumni is Mr. Luis Guzman. He's playing Gomez Adams in Wednesday. Douchebag. Double douchebag. It's probably the same as teacher life, but less tragic because I get to leave. Ridiculous name, Britta. <laughs> Imagine living with that. <laughs> the ridiculous name. Anyway, um, are you two an item? Q&A. Yeah, Luis Guzman is on a private jet from Hollywood because he can't wait to have that conversation with you. Really? <laughs> How does he know about me? Because he called me on my cell <laughs> Why would a movie actor call you? I love these guys. I'm President Obama's nephew. You never mentioned that. I didn't know if I could trust you. But now it's time to tell you everything. Starting with me inventing the Ferrari. So... <laughs> I'll give you my number if you promise not to use it in any other context than friendship. Uh, pass. Silencio. The king. Until I find out who did this. What is that? <laughs> Baby's paper. Okay. Holy shit, man. They put all the information on that little piece of paper? Grandma. Kumar? <laughs> oh my god. That does apply to me. Holy sh dude. Suck your toe. What? Oh my god, man. Whoever made that crib sheet wasn't a real cheater, just insecure and naive. I may be naive, but I'm <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I may be a genius, but I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? The real cheater is the guy who's threatening everyone with a zero. You're right. I wrote the jingle for Hawthorne Wife's Moist Towelettes. I would have done your song. <laughs> Smooth move, Metamucil. Troy could do the school song. Troy invented rap music, and he's related to Danny Glover and President Obama. Danny Glover? You've never had somebody mess with you before? Yes, just kidding. No. Like that? <laughs> this isn't a table. <laughs> he blew his own mind. This is the last chance for the cheater <laughs> to be an adult and face la musica or everyone fails. Hey, that guy's not in his seat, the guy in... Oh, because he said he knows he didn't do it, so he probably just let him go. No! I did it. Wow. Wow. You really took your sweet time with that one, baby. How dare you terrorize a class by threatening their grades? Turn on her! Hey, I don't want to do <laughs> Real mature. 
It's actually really easy to do that. Yeah, well, when we first met, uh, like you were up here and I was here, and now. Oh, wait, I get. Not even. She's still up there, and you're way down there. Well, we're not gonna buy you an ice cream. Hi, Dean Pelton. <laughs> Quite an entrance I got to make there. <laughs> yes, but we will be next to it using it. Getting expelled for cheating uh, on one test I mean, at a community college. Lawyer anymore, but relative to this place, I'm Alan Dershowitz. I can neither confirm nor deny that. See how good I am. Terrible. Troy, did you hear? All dogs are blue now. First of all, I cannot be got mm -hmm. because I am not gullible like you. Mm -hmm. Secondly, mm -hmm. you are not good at this because you are not believable in your face. You gotta ride the line between believable and. What are you writing in? It's no what language is that? What, what language? Probably Arabic. He's got secrets. A teacher, you are not a professor. Maybe because I don't look like Ron Weasley. That's the difference. That's the qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> Can Senior Chang be one of the judges? He's the one accusing my client. Oh, sounds like they're two Adam. Offenses, one on each side, and I go both ways. Oh, let's strike that. Lashonda, can we please strike that? <laughs> <laughs> Greendale, Greendale, slop. Green, green. You can tell the dean I'll have a song that will make the devil poop God's pants. That's exciting. <laughs> Mind if I hear what you got so far? Mushu pork. The squirrel. Oh my God, dude. With lettuce. You see? I mean, it just comes out. You know what? You really shouldn't be here right now. What? Reminds me of when he was in the music video with Paul Simon. That means leave. Stormed out of the room in her high heel boots like it was tampon time. If you she didn't say that. Objection, I don't know what he means. Please don't encourage him, Winger. Do you have any more questions? Pompous vortex of overlapping fangs. Hey, British dentistry is not on trial. Dean Pelton, <laughs> I move this case be thrown out of... The pool area. Well, it's certainly. Wait, I cheated. <laughs> Objection. Oh, My Lord. Client did not cheat. Yes, I did. Yes, she did. But why? Beginning transmission. The primary purpose seems to be male bonding, and the attitude during conveyance of the brand of deceit is apparently of great importance. He's going like, hey, Troy. just to like get him. He's going. Uh, how long were you there? <laughs> you trying to mess with me? Yes, that's what I was doing. You got me. You did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, do you mind if you have this conversation in a room with less balls? <laughs> you you're very confident, I'll say that. <laughs> with me, I mean you said it yourself, you don't even want to be my friend. Wait, Bingo. Is that what you thought I meant? If all I wanted was sex, I could get it from plenty of women without having to go through all this crap. I'm here because I like you. 
and I, 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 he's a I fucking he's idiot. I think I left that crib sheet on the floor because I wanted to get caught. Oh, Jesus, man. Bring everything up. I just wanted to get it over with. Wait. Because she doesn't think she can. So she goes out of her way to fail. This could, I, this could get her crazy. expelled. But. But I mean, as long as she's paying her tuition, I highly doubt that the institution cares. Well, on the condition that she receives psychological counseling on a weekly basis from a trained mental health professional. I'm thinking maybe Fridays, nine ish. Yes. Wait, what? What a fucking idiot. Over cheating. <laughs> oh my god. Abed. Greetings, Commander. T -t Tell me about the one they call Troy. Well, he is rather arrogant. Stop. Stop doing this right now. Yo. I'm not an alien. <laughs> I never thought you were. Friends don't mess with each other. Okay? Cool, cool, cool. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Greendale, Greendale, little star. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I can't. She'll be coming around the mountain. I know. I steal everything. <laughs> you back the wrong horse. I got nothing. Pierce, you're musical. You're creative. You can do this. We soldier on, and that's just the way it goes. Nice pep talk. I'm gonna play myself out. Pierce Hawthorne, who's written Greendale its own school song. <laughs> Pierce. Okay. Thank you. This should be good. Standing in the bookstore line, waiting for the bell to try. This is that's just the way it is. It is. <laughs> oh man. He stole a classic. Some things are still the same. Slot pails and patty holes. Of all the songs to steal. Could have been a nursery rhyme. I love that these have like post credit scenes. How many? Ew. You win. Best of three? Yeah. That's funny how they, they make you think that he's doing it without him knowing. <laughs> Oh man, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good episode. Um, it was funny. It felt like from the first five episodes, this was the only one that really didn't really interconnect with any of the other ones. It was basically two simple plot points. Britta cheating and Pierce needing to come up with a song. No real subplots there, but it was funny. Um, I don't know what they were trying to set up between Britta and Jeff with this, with her cheating and him representing him, because again, he seems to always put his foot in his own mouth and it really help his own cause. Um, I know he actually, he, he said what we all know, like he, he does want to sleep with her. He wants to be a friend, but he's still going to try and acknowledge that he is telling the truth there. But the way he comes off, if he, he really truly does like her, He's not going about it the right way, and 
this, I guess, version of Britta, like season one version, seems very naive. And I hope that's not where she ends up because he doesn't deserve to be with somebody like that until he eventually like redeems himself if that ever happens. But this version of Jeff should not get this version of Britta or any version of Britta at this point. So we'll see what happens later in the season or into season two. The song was pretty funny. Um, I don't know how many of you are older where you remember Chevy Chase being in the um, Paul Simon music videos. Um, what was that? Uh, what was the name of that song? Uh, Me and Julio down by the schoolyard, I think. I think that was the one. But anyway, it just reminded me of that because in that music video, he was playing all the instruments with Paul Simon and he's playing the piano here and trying to think of a song. So it reminded me of that. That's that portion. Um, wasn't a very funny subplot of this episode. It was just funny how for his previous job, he stole like a nursery rhyme to make his jingle. And I mean, me, when we got to the end, I thought he was going to steal another kid's song. And it's funny that he stole a, like a really old well an older classic song that most people watching should recognize that's just the way it is um is the original uh, obviously tupac did a cover most people probably know that version but um yeah not too much to say about uh this episode and i say that a lot not that much to say but this was a pretty simple episode wasn't much going on didn't really progress any of the characters, but had some cool, funny moments. And like I said, um, all the moments with, uh, what's his name? Troy and Abed are always classic. Right now, they're my two favorite characters. They, they're kind of perfect together on screen. They mesh well, and it's only been five episodes, you know, and they already have chemistry. Usually it takes, you know, half a season to a season for like characters to get chemistry like that. But they seem to be doing pretty well. Um, Annie is an okay character. She's um, progressing, I guess. We all know how I feel about Jeff. Uh, Shirley didn't really get much to do this episode. Uh, Senor Chang and Zhang is always funny, no matter where you put them. Um, who else is there? Uh, John Oliver. He's all right. He's a pretty funny professor. Nothing crazy there. And, you know, Britta is Britta. I, I call this Britta version one. Hopefully she progresses because I feel like the writing is pretty shitty for her so far. But all in all, pretty good episode. Pretty funny. Not the funniest. Not the best yet. But that's just me. What do you guys think of season one, episode five of Immunity? Again, the title, Advanced Criminal Law. Um, Yeah. Let me know in the comments below, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you're on Twitter and Instagram. Find me there at Screen Sanctum. I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.